in this tutorial, I will show you everything you need to know about the gradients. Gradient option can be checked on the different drawing tools. And can be also enabled on a field shape like the field rectangle. And on the paint bucket. The gradient proposed by default is the gradient from A color to B color. To define the gradient, first of all, let's make a click. And then let's draw the vector that will define the gradient. Like this. So the gradient may change following the direction and the size of the vector. To draw straight lines with your gradient, hit Shift on your keyboard. You may also use different way to apply your gradient. So by default I was using this mode, but I can also use the round one. Then I will define the radius like this. And the star. This one is really interesting to use with a gradient from A color to transparent. To change it, you can click on the gradient and choose among the different possibilities. So here I will choose from A pen, so from A color to transparent. And let's now draw some little stars in the sky. You can also create your own gradient. You have some gradient available by default here in this pop-up, but you can create your own gradient. To do so, let's go into Windows, Drawing, Gradient. So to create a new gradient, first of all, I will click on New, because I don't want to affect the A pen to transparent gradient. So let's click on New. OK. By default, the gradient will propose you to make a gradient from A color to B color, symbolized here by those options. I don't avoid you to use those ones because if, for example, you define a gradient from uh, a clear blue to pink, for example, if you change the color by, uh, by mistake, you will affect automatically the gradient. So to avoid this behavior, just click on the color checkbox just here. And then pick up the color. And do the same for the final color. Check. And that's all. That's the good color. To add a new color, just click on this bar. Click on a different nuance. You can also move. And let's add a new one. And here is our new gradient. On this bar, you can also define the alpha level click on the one on the left. If I lower the alpha level, we can see here the gradient will be affected and will be more transparent. It will go from transparent to fully opaque. You can also add other 
steps in the alpha mode by clicking here again on the bar. So for example, we'll go from opaque to transparent, then to opaque again. Like this. So now we have created a gradient. We have the possibility to use it with the drawing tools. So let's close those gradients. I will click here on my uh, stroke and let's, for example, use it on the pen brush. So I have to click on gradient, but by default, it doesn't work pretty well. It just used the last colors. To affect a gradient on the pen brush, you must change, for example, the power value and especially the pressure, um, the connection I use here. For example, so here the gradient will be from blue to pink. You can also use the gradient on the airbrush. So let's enable the gradient. And here the gradient will be affected by the profile of the brush. So if I change the profile, I have something different here. You can save your gradient, and actually I even advise you to do so, especially if you make a specific brush. To save a gradient, let's open again drawing gradient, you have the possibility to save them by clicking here on file and use save gradient. I take the liberty to show you some tools I have already created to make very nice rendering. So here like liquid middle and I will load my gradient. Just show you the parameters used and the gradient. Another one that use the spectrum. Really nice if you want to uh, to paint over a video and emotions on people. That's quite fun. So here I have a brush. It's actually a pen brush to draw some uh, seaweed, some herb. And I've created a specific gradient for this. I will load the gradient. And this gradient, so actually I'm, it's uh, with a pen brush. This tool give a big shape. And if I draw strongly, the color change and the line becomes smaller. So very nice to draw seaweed or herbs. Another one, vocabulary. So here we have the neon, using again the airbrush with the different modes, and I will load another gradient. Here we are. So if you combine it with the line shape, and uh, let's lower a little bit the size. It's really nice to throw some weapons from a galaxy far, far away. <laughs> and another one, it's this little fire brush. So let's load the gradient again. And here for this brush, I actually uh, use the airbrush with a specific uh, profile. I also reduce the aspect in order to have um, an elliptic shape. And I also use on the angle, I use the random connection in order to have something that turn randomly like this. 
to really create to draw flames. <laughs>